Skål everyone and welcome to Viking Living. Da da, look at this. Isn't it beautiful? Yeah, hello and welcome to Kimber Bushcraft. As you can see, I have a lot of new things I would like to show you. This is the video I've been planning for a very long time. I put up my Viking tent and made some furniture. I'll show you them uh, in a minute. And um, yeah, going to make an overnight out here together with Cornelius. I call this video for Viking living. And it's because uh, the setup I have with me today is not something you uh, uh, take with you on a, on a hike. It is much too heavy, so um, this is a setup that the Vikings would have used uh, when they were traveling to other countries in their ships. They could have their uh, tents and all the furniture along with them, and uh, when they came to a new uh, country, they could set the uh, camp up, the tent, sleep in there, uh, maybe for many months before uh, they moved on. So this is why it's called uh, Viking living. Uh, it could probably also be used if they came to a new place where they would like to stay and uh, would like to build a house and then they could live in a tent, in a Viking tent uh, for that period of time until the house was finished. So this is how I imagine that a Viking would live out in the forest or in a place where there could be a little village or perhaps in England before they and made a raid uh, to one of the cities. Yeah, but let me take uh, you a little bit tour on my new Viking stuff and uh, tell you about that. Yeah, and this is my new Viking chair, and you can see here in this little film how I uh, put it together and uh, secure it uh, in the back with this little um, uh, with this little wedge, so it's uh, very sturdy made it out of um, oak. I find it uh, in a warehouse and it was um, not as expensive as I thought so I choose to make it in oak and uh, yeah it looked very cool. And uh, in here you can see my bed um, and here you can see how I uh, put it together. Uh, I made it so that I can pack it uh, down so it doesn't take much room and then uh, set it up like this and um, you can see the rope that are going uh, underneath and how they are attached to the frame. I got uh, these poles uh, three meter in length. I cut them up so I can have uh, one side, one end and uh, two uh, feet on the on the bed. And uh, it's the first time I'm going to sleep on it. Uh, you can see here I have, have a wool blanket underneath and some uh, some sheep fur I just bought 
on top of that, and then I have my uh, warm wool blanket, so I don't think I'm going to to be cold tonight. Uh, here you can see my little table and uh, folding chair, and as you can see in this little video, uh, yeah, I made it back home. Um, I haven't made a tutorial about it, uh, but here's some uh, clips. Uh, that shows uh, some of the process I'm using uh, in making this little chair. My goal was to make a chair, a folding chair, but then I thought I would also use it as a little table and uh, so I can sit and have my food on that and I can even uh, put it down, you can see here, and I can, when I'm sitting on the ground I can use it as a, a low table. Now I put some uh, lanterns on that will be there tonight so I can have it cozy in here. And over here, you can see a little shell uh, that I put my stuff on. And in front here, a little drum I recently bought and I painted it with the sun symbol uh, that is from uh, North Mythology and uh, before that. Perhaps I will use that tonight uh, to make a little uh, ambience here out in the camp. So yeah, this is the way I'm going to spend my night together with Cornelius and he's very excited for that and uh, it's a wonderful area I'm in. I'll take you a tour so you can see. It's an open place uh, and the sun is uh, actually behind the trees. And that's because there's a, a lot of wind today so I have to find a place where there is uh, no wind and then there's no sun but the sun is going down anyhow. Uh, not so soon this night. I'm sure it will be cozy here and uh, I hope that the wind noise in the microphone uh, won't disturb my footage. Yeah, and here you can see the beautiful landscape I'm uh, looking at when I'm sitting in my chair. Uh, it's so wonderful. And again, yeah, view here. wonderful view here. Yeah, then I would like to show you something, uh, the surroundings I am in here, there's actually a little lake down there, and uh, we'll go down there and uh, take a look. Hello, I can use. Yeah. And 
Cornelius is pretty excited because there was a, a Schaefer dog that was a female, so um, she was very interesting for him. Now we can begin to see the water, this little lake, and uh, I'm not allowed to came down here, that's why I'm not here. But look at that wonderful area. Beautiful lake. I think you wants to go down and drink. But uh, let's go down to the tent again. Come Cornelius. Yeah. And then again down to the tent. Oh, yeah. yeah, it's getting a little bit cold, so I put on my my wool jacket from uh, Grimfrost. And it's warm and cozy. I also have my boots and leg wraps if it's going to be cold tonight. We'll see. I probably uh, will carve something in this section of the, the Walking chair, uh, but I haven't decided yet what it should be. Uh, perhaps Milner or something, of course, something Viking like, but yeah, that's my plan. I made this uh, not in a rush but quickly because I wanted it to uh, be finished when I'm making this uh, overnight video. So, um, and also perhaps the the wood frame from the tent, I would like to um, carve something in, but this is uh, a good place to start uh, carving some kind of ornament, Viking ornament in here.
while the flatbread is um, is cooking, this is my dish for tonight: um, bacon, mushrooms, spring onions, a little parsnip, and uh, some cream. I'll start with this. Yips. And some of this in uh, thin slices. Yeah, I think they'll do. Oh yeah, looking good. And I'm using all my leftover wood for my projects, so I have something to to cook out here. Yeah, then I think it's done, and I want to put my other pan on the one that I made. A month ago, yeah. First, some butter. And then the bacon in. in just a moment. Then the parsnip and spring onions. And this is all ingredients that they could use in the Viking Age. And many of you wonderful subscribers have told me that this is called parsnip, I think it's called, pronounced. Um, so thank you for your help. I appreciate that very much. And then I think I'll put the mushroom on. A little bit of salt, flake salt from Nordur. A little bit of pepper. Yeah. Now for the most important thing. The cream, yeah. Oh yeah. I must say, cream and bacon. Then you can't go wrong. And uh, when adding some mushrooms and spring onion, it's going to be delicious. And I just have to cook it until the the cream is thick, like a gravy or sauce. The pan is almost too small for this, but I think it's okay.
Yeah. It's getting creamy. Oh, yeah. And together with my flatbread, I think it's going to be delicious. Now I think it's finished. Take it over here, cool a little bit off. Then the flatbread. Yeah, and we'll have some meat for the for this meal. I hope it will taste delicious. Let's go, everyone, and welcome to Viking Living. Mm. Ah, yeah. Oh, so lekker. So delicious. Mm. And uh, now I think it's time for a cup of coffee. And uh, together with my coffee, I have something new I would like to show you. I got a new pipe actually today from a guy down in in Austria. I'm very excited to show you that, my little creation. But first I would like to, to make my coffee. Good strong coffee. And it came in this leather bag. Yeah. Come closer, I will show you. And it is this guy, Ruetz Pipes from Austria. An awesome guy that makes handcrafted pipes himself. And he sells them, um, he uses uh, Bria, the, the wood from Italy, and all the other things from Europe here. Um, and we talked about he should make a special pipe for me that I can use on my Viking hikes. Uh, and we discussed some option design, uh, and uh, we came up with this. I sent him some drawings and he put in his, uh, his thoughts about uh, how a pipe shall look. So this is my new pipe and I'm very excited to smoke it for the very first time. Ta-da! Look at this. Isn't it beautiful? 
Yeah. And here, yeah, I think I'll get it closer so you can see it in details. Yeah. Look at this. Isn't it beautiful? And here you can see some ornaments from Viking. Uh, something like the bake beaser. Yeah. It's so beautiful. I'm so grateful that you wanted to uh, send me, make a pipe especially for me. And I would like to call it my Kimber pipe. We haven't discussed it if it's going to have that name, but I refer it as a, my Kimber pipe. It's my first handmade pipe, especially for me, unique, but I'm sure it'll make something similar for you if you're interested. I put a link in my video description so you can find his website and see all the fantastic creation he is doing, he's making. So beautiful. I'm so grateful. Thank you very much, Christian. I really appreciate your kindness. Yeah. Now I want to put some tobacco in and then smoke it for the first time. And it's a big pipe, there could be a lot of tobacco in here. I love that. Oh yeah. Oh, so good. Oh my god, it's so great to smoke on. Oh yeah. And what in it, it's linked in this link because then the smoke will be cooled off. It will be cooler and if it's log under this I can risk that I'll uh, break it during my hikes and so on. So I think this is a perfect size for a pipe to enjoy out here in the wilderness. And even though there were no tobacco in the Viking Age, I'm sure if there were, the Viking would have enjoyed a good pipe of tobacco. I certainly do together with my coffee. Yeah, it's cooking.
It's a wonderful life, Viking life, Viking living. I really enjoyed it. I really enjoy it. Having all these things, like a little house, it's awesome. And the table, it's great. And the chair, and the bed. Yeah, all the stuff I made, I'm very pleased with it. And I'm looking forward to make more one-nighters in this awesome tent. Mm. Now I think I'll take my jacket on so I don't freeze.
As you can see now it's dark and uh, Cornelius and I are going to bed in a little while. It's been a wonderful day out here. Now there's no wind. Very calm, quiet, peaceful. Good night everyone. Sleep well, see you tomorrow. Yeah, good morning everyone. <clears throat> it's been a very cold night. I don't know how low it was in temperature, but I was freezing my butt off. <laughs> and uh, Cornelius too, he lay on the ground on my fur, but he came up to me uh, during the night and slept beside me. And. Uh, In the end of the night he uh, was laying on my uh, legs or toes, my foot, and that was very good because I was freezing uh, on my feet very much. Yeah, but uh, it's a wonderful morning. Uh, the sun is just rising from the horizon. I can't see it yet, but in an hour or so I think we'll have some sun here. Now I'm going to prepare my my fire, get it up and uh, make some breakfast. Yeah. But it's an awesome tent to be in. It's uh, very roomy. There's a lot of space in there. I love it. And uh, yeah. And the bed was, was pretty good. Uh, I lay uh, very nice and cozy in it. So um, that's a good thing. Uh, one thing that I realize I miss is a chest, a Viking chest. I must have such one. Perhaps someone is willing to, to give me one or I can build it myself. Yeah, perhaps I should do that. Yeah. Well, now it's time for 
breakfast and uh, some coffee. Yeah. Godt nede. Ja, du skal have noget. Mm -hmm. Jeg har lige sættet kaffe. Ja.
все. Enjoy. Soon there will be morning coffee. Yeah, now I tested all my new furniture for my Viking house and uh, it works great. As I said before, I need a Viking chest uh, so I can have my stuff down in that. But other than that, we'll see what I can uh, come up with ideas for something I must do, must make for this uh, Viking tent. There's a lot of room in it, and uh, yeah, I can have a little bit more things without getting too crowded in there. Yeah. 
But this was all for now, folks. I hope you enjoyed this little video, and I appreciate that you joined Cornelius and I out here in my Viking tents. Now I'm packing my gear, loading on my Viking longship, and setting sail for home. And uh, yeah. take care. See you again on the next one. Bye bye. Book in the morning. Again, flying home to Odin, telling him that they saw me here in this forest. <laughs> yeah, good old Hukina Munin. They follow me on my adventures.